Good morning, boys and girls. Why aren't they waving back? <laughs> well, maybe they are. You just can't see them. Oh, okay. I thought I could see both ways. No, we can't see both ways. Oh. I guess my mouth shouldn't be moving when you're talking. <laughs> yeah, we catch the mistakes sometimes after we're watching them. That's the problem with going live and doing it from the hip without editing. We, uh, we catch mistakes on things we say like yesterday. Man, Matt Lake caught me say I made some on the shipping. And what I meant was what I calculated the shipping to be. But I said, with free shipping and I made some on the shipping. Well, I made some on what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Yeah, man, Matt and Lake, that's what he meant. Yeah. But, yeah, we do make mistakes. But, hey, we're human. Well, <laughs> you are. <laughs> Hi, boys and girls. Let's try that again. Are they waving back? I don't know. We can't see that part of it. All right. Well, let's get into what we sold and what we... Heck, we got sales this morning. Yeah, we sure do. And we had a big one yesterday. Yeah, we sure did. But it was late last night after I went to bed. Yeah, you went to bed a little earlier than normal. Yeah, I was tired. But I got a lot done yesterday. And so we'll get into what we sold and even a little bit of sourcing yesterday. Not again. Yep, I'm getting prepared for a yard sale this week, so I'm organizing, and I stopped and picked up a few more video games, and I got some good ones. Oh, that's good. Make some money. You've been doing good with the money. And when do I get my cut? <laughs> well, what are you going to spend it on? A girlfriend. You got a girlfriend? No, but if I got money, I'll get me one. <laughs> All right, let's get it while we sold. Uh, if anybody's got a girlfriend out there for him, let me know. I'll uh, I'll buy it on eBay. But uh, I don't know. I don't know what his preference is in women. What is your preference? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, get us a sip of coffee. And today we're going to do an actual live because I haven't shipped them yet. I got to do that this morning. So we'll just get into some of the things that I sold. And um, we'll start off with this and it's a lot of monster high doll accessories so i see other youtubers and pickers talking about monster high dolls but grab the accessories too i got these at the bins back in uh i think about february i paid about 55 cents because this whole bag weighs 12 ounces it's a bunch of boots and shoes and a couple of stands that the doll stands on and a bunch of clothes and accessories like i said and it's a bunch Sold it for 20 50 plus shipping, and I should make about 17 on that when it's all said and done. Um, let's see. Just trying to remember, because I got three sales this morning, and I want to pull the wrong sale. This was my home run, <laughs> and no pun intended. It's a Louisville Slugger Prime 918 minus 8 bat. Now, the gentleman I bought it, I bought three for $100. He told me this bat alone was worth $100. And I've had it for a couple of weeks, and I was beginning to go, man. I mean, I comped it, and it did show that it was worth about 150 But I put it for $129 plus shipping, because uh, they do cost a little bit to ship. And uh, so I comped this, because I paid 100 for three bats. I comped this at half of it, because it's the most valuable of the bats. So $50, that's my reasoning on this. Sold it for a $129 plus shipping on top. And I should make about $65 to $70 when it's all said and done. Maybe maybe more like $60, $65. But hey, that's a good, that's a good deal. And I still got the other two bats. Um, the other thing I sold, I'm grabbing them, was this. It is a DC Comics Hot Wheels uh, Flash 70 Chevelle SS Wagon. I paid $2.99 for this back in uh, February at a thrift store, and I was buying a bunch of Batman stuff, and this was just one of the things that wasn't associated with Batman, and I paid uh, $2.99 for it, sold it for $17 with free shipping, and this bad boy is going to France. So that'll go through the GSP. These I found at the bins, and I've had them for a while, and I've had a lot of questions on them. They're Oakleys, but there's no style written on them. 
as you can see they're kind of clear um, I'll ship these in a box but I paid basically a quarter for these I sold them for $36 plus shipping and I should make about $30 on that when it's said, said and done the next item I sold is another Goodwill Ben Fine black and decker nine inch knife new in the box never been opened I don't know how I ended up at the bins, but it did. So I comp this at 151 based on weight. I'm gonna try to get this in a priority flat rate envelope. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And um, I sold it for 25.59 plus shipping and I should make about $19 on that when it's all said and done. Uh, let's see. I bought this last week at a thrift store when I bought a bunch of video games and it seems like the audio books and the Zoo Tycoon and the skateboarding DVDs are doing better than the video games, but this is a nine CD set. It's audio CDs of uh, An Adventure of Jonathan Park. As you can see, volume one, and I do have, I think, volume two and three. I paid 202, I sold it for 15 plus media mail shipping, and that's how that one will go, because if I try to ship that first class, it'll eat my profit. So I should make about 10, 1040 on that one. Um, you know what? That's that's it. Sixty dollars and fifty-seven cents, and that's basically because of the bat. So it would have been ten fifty-seven without it. But of course, the total sales were two seventy-one thirty, and without the one twenty-nine, that wouldn't have been very good either. It'd been over a hundred dollars, uh, about a hundred and fifty, and my profit should be about a hundred and sixty-four forty off that. Um, yesterday, I also did, like I said, I sourced, but I've already listed those. I listed a bunch of a uh, couple of Wii systems. I threw games in one and one I didn't. Um, and then I listed um, a uh, entire two guitar and drum set Wii with a guitar Guitar Hero Five, which is worth about twenty by itself, uh, on Facebook Marketplace for two twenty five. Uh, I just don't want to ship that. It's just so big and bulky. Uh, I'm not going to take a chance. And they do sell for that range, so. Um, the Wii games that I got at the Goodwill were, one of them was a $35 game. It was Mario Party 8, and I got some other Marios and some other games. Some were more valuable than others, but um, I should get my money back just off of Mario Party 8. So um, I've got some sales this morning. Oh, I, actually, I did have another sale. Do, do, do. I got, like I said, I got three this morning. I won't show those till tomorrow. There it is again. I'm running out of these. I got to get some more. I'm going to be out of them. Um, I think I have 16 or 17 left. And of course, you know, I got 27.89 into that one, uh, pro or sales and 325 in it plus shipping. And other than that, that's about it for today. I'm going to get this stuff shipped. I did sort through I'm, I'm getting ready for a yard sale this weekend. And, um, I went through the video games that I don't have listed. And these are all the ones that the accessories that I got out of a lot deal. I've already sold the Wii. But these are all the Wii games I still got. And I'm going to go through those. And then these are the PS3s. And these are the PS2s. And <laughs> there's a lot of PS2s. And then there's some miscellaneous. And then those in the middle are all Xbox 360s. And then a bunch of loose three, 360s. And I got a few loose of the other genres of CDs and uh, video games. So all in all, I did a lot of listing. I think I did about 20 but when you're I'm pre-packaging some of this stuff like the Wii systems I'm pre-packaging and marking them and putting in the inventory room that way when I do ship them all I gotta do is put uh, the label on it and go so um, you can get a Wii system in a in a medium flat rate too and, and a few games but not too many so if you've got all the accessories that's the way to do it and then tag it and put it in the in a box and get it ready wrap it and everything and then you just got to put a label on it so little work up front or a little work on the back end, whichever you prefer. It's up to you. Um, I think I'm at 251 this morning on subscribers. So if you like what you saw, thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified. If you don't, don't worry about it, but please subscribe if you're not. And um, I'm getting a lot of comments on people liking what I'm putting out. So, uh, I don't know why uh, it ain't growing as much as I want, but hey, it's slowly growing, and some people are telling me just to hang in there, so that's what I'm doing, and I hope you enjoyed it. 
Um, I'm not going to keep it long today. I got to get some shipping done. And uh, like I said, Thursday and I'll be prepping for the yard sale, moving stuff around and getting it ready. And then Friday and Saturday, I'm having one. So my video will probably be a little later in the day. Um, I'll, I'll, as I get closer on Thursday, I'll let you know kind of what I'm looking at and uh, hopefully get rid of a bunch of DVDs and CDs and like I said yesterday, stuff that I haven't even comped or listed yet from the uh, bins, some ball caps uh, that I haven't even listed yet. Now I'm going to go through, I got to go through all that and find out what's valuable and what's not and uh, what I'm going to ask. Uh, I'm thinking, and you might give me some comments on it. I mean, DVDs, I'm going to try to do a dollar a piece or maybe uh, 10 or 12 for $10. Uh, video games, those are going to be about $3 a piece. I'm not giving them away. Um, if they don't sell, they'll be relisted. So uh, there are people out there picking them so they can come by and go through them. And, but I think $3 a piece is a fair price because um, that's almost what I paid and I'm not going to make hardly anything on them. But I won't have any fees. So if I make 50 cents or a dollar on a game, then I'm happy. Um, some just aren't as valuable as others, but hey, it is what it is. Some of these are going to be worth seven, eight, ten dollars $10. And you can make a little bit of money as Mad Mountain Link would do. Because he's okay with making 2 or $3, 4 dollars And uh, nothing wrong with that. I mean, I know in some places you can't source like you can where I live. Because I have plenty of sourcing op options. Um, between the bins and stores and yard sales and estate sales. And, and, uh, and I'm not isolated uh, in the country. So, although I love living in the country, I'd love that. But yeah, I'd have to change my lifestyle. Or if I moved to Maui, I'd have to change it. Because there ain't a lot of sourcing opportunities there either. But it is what it is. Y'all have a great day. Stay safe. Forgive me for rambling as I always do. But I enjoy talking and I enjoy teaching. And thank you again, everybody that subscribed. I appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Cap guy out.